Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation and I want to show you guys a fully built 2022 Beta 250 Race Edition. This is a true race ready bike. We've done a ton of work to it. We have other videos on our channel of us building this bike. So hit that subscribe button and check out the other stuff we've done. This bike is set up for woods racing. Uh, Danny, he was uh, fourth overall last year in the New York Off-Road Series. That's the main series he's going to go after again this year. Last year he was on a 354 stroke. He likes the two stroke, they start a tad faster. Uh, so getting off the line on a dead engine start, that's important for him. So he chose the 250 race edition. So let me grab the camera and I'll do a walk around video with you guys. We did a ton of other videos on this bike. So if you would subscribe to our channel, we can show you some of the individual builds that we did to this. Uh, but this is gonna be his completed bike. Some of the last little pieces just came in. A few of the standard features on like the race editions are going to be like the axle pull and like the red anodized blocks, the dual composite sprocket. Those are all stock features on this bike. But what we like to do for the woods races is we like front protection on the radiators. This will keep any kind of stick or if we, you know, come across another rider, it'll get a lot of support and it protects the whole front of that radiator. He went with a FMF factory pipe and we, uh, Finished it off with the PowerCore 2.1 silencer. We did the kickstart kit as well. We think that's important whenever you're in a hair scramble. You know, some guys are like, oh, I'll just carry a, an electric pack with me and a, a jump start pack and I can jump start it. That is super cool if you're just trail riding, but when you're in the double A class and you're like every second counts, you don't want to get past. And if for some reason your battery died, it is so important to have a kickstarter on the bike. So. We put that on there. Again, there's a video showing that. We did the cooling hose kit. That eliminates the thermostat. That eliminates any issues for any extra, you know, the thermostat adds like four or five different splits in the hose. So we just want to keep it simple, light. We did a video on the IMS gas tank. We went with the oversized and he has the quick fill key in. So when he comes in for a pit stop, it's literally Five or six seconds, he's full of gas and he's gone again. We did the throttle position sensor, um, little anodized plug. We took that sensor out of this because this bike got the race harness. And again, I, we did a separate video on the race harness. So we're literally down to a kill start or a kill switch and a start button on this bike. We love to do the red anodized um, a case saver up here for your slave cylinder. It lets a lot of the mud come out the side. It doesn't get all balled up in here. If you guys are looking for parts for your betas, we are a beta dealer. We're three C's recreation. We're in Western New York. I would love to work with you guys on parts. We drop ship all over the country. If you're on that beta site and you're about to click by, uh, shoot me an email or give us the shop a call. I can work with you guys on uh, on parts prices too, so I'd love to work with you. The only thing we really haven't done for Dini yet is this still has the stock tire setup on it. We're going to run those for practice, we'll just burn those tires off and then we'll get his bibs and his tire choice on there. He likes to run the Dunlop tires. Dini also chooses a different battery to run as well. And you can see it in here. This is one of those high uh, Super B batteries that has a ton of cranky amps on it. I don't hook anything up in the showroom until we get it out because you never know. And customers come in, they seem to want to mess with buttons and it would fire up in the showroom. And I don't know if I mentioned the hand guards. We like to do the moose wraparound guards on the bikes. If you were to tip over in the woods, breaking your clutch lever off isn't super exciting. This is where we mounted his hour meter. Plenty of room right here. Doesn't get in the way of anything. The one wire runs right down, right to the spark plug cap there. You really can't mount it on this side because this is where your wire loom is and there's just not enough room. So our hour meters go on the other side right there, at least on the two strokes. We did a rear rotor guard. This one's pretty beat up because this came off his bike last year. 
Um, there's no reason to, to buy that again if you already have it. The race editions also come stock with a wider foot peg. Dan each uses their own engine ice, so when we did the coolant hose kit, there's engine ice back in this bike. We still like to run the Motul oil as well. I know Beta is now sponsored by Liquamali, but Motul has been in all of our race bikes since 2012 and we've won some championships with them, so we'll stick with that. In the back, we eliminated the rear fender piece as well. And that's kind of obvious when we do the wire kit, you, you lose all that. We don't need that in the races. And the last thing we did was uh, finish it off with a 3C's graphic kit. Again, this is Jared at 3C's. Thanks for checking out our video. If you wouldn't mind, hit like and subscribe. We do a ton of beta content. And again, if you're looking for beta parts, I'd love to work with you. We're a family dealership right here in Western New York. Give us a call. I appreciate it. Thank you.